on, on, on. Go, go, run. I feel like this last eight tasks feel like it's taking every last bit of patience. So just to give you guys an update of what the work that we did. When the cat's away, the mice will play. While I was in Pretoria, Ricky went out fishing with the guys. So this afternoon, Rod from Stampede invited us for, for a little bit of fishing. And uh, we're trawling a little bit for some for some tuna. And we got some little tunas already going on. On, on, on! Woo! Go, go, Rod! On, on, on! Grab, Rob! Come grab! <laughs> So you can see the action that's going on, we're getting hit left, right and centre with little bonnies taking, pretty much smashing everything. See some nice little colour coming up there. Got some birds diving up front here yeah, on what seems like little anchovies. And I think we're gonna go on. And even though it's all clear now, for me it still feels true. I don't know what I'm going for. <laughs> Double whammies. Sweet. Heading back now after awesome little afternoon of fishing and uh, we've got a couple of bunnies in the back and a little roman show you guys what it looks like we're gonna head back and get them all cleaned up and filleted and then we'll freeze them up So, it's crazy, I've never felt so overwhelmed in a very long time. I mean, we've like have, I don't even know how many, three, six, seven, eight tasks left, but I feel like this last eight tasks feel like it's taking every last bit of patience and mental and emotional and every energy I possibly have. So, it's been tough, I won't lie. This last couple of weeks have been flipping tough on me, um, tough on Ricky. It's been, it's been a long journey, but we're gonna pull through. We're gonna get it done. You have some good days, you have some bad days, and um, we just, we just gotta hang on and get through it. Another day, boat building in PE, averaging 45, 50 knots gusting. This time of the year, it's like once a week that she comes through. Guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but have a look at that wall over there. That's the sea breaking over that wall. That water, the wall's over, I think it's like five meter break wall that thing. So even giving Rod a hand yeah, getting it into now. Look at that, in the water with the wind blowing. Ricky, let it go, that's where it was. I'm not holding much, almost nothing okay. at all. all right, so just to give you guys an update of what the work that we did. There you go, see the four stays back in again. I've resprayed all of that. That's the new pins, the new spaces, the new brackets, the freaking huge. 14 mil uh, wire that we got on there and everything's been tensioned already we got about so the top stay comes in at 1.5 tons loading static loading and then um, obviously because of the angle on these there's quite a bit more on these bottom ones yeah but um, it looks beautiful check that work very very nicely finished up we sprayed it all you can see that so that never used to have clearance over there. It was permanently touching on the furler. So we open, I opened that up 
and glass it a bit further back. So the first project's finished, but uh, the owner already has me on to the second one that he's not happy with. So we're doing that. We've got to do some rudder setups, and then we're going to do doing some new, new custom-made uh, hardcore blocks to organize all the lines because all the lines run down the mast and then they're all hidden away until they come out in the back here. Yeah? So we've got to do all of that. So that's how all the lines meet up here in the middle and basically what we're building custom is new organizers for you. The ones they had was carbon fiber but it was not so good. Although carbon's good but that job was terrible. You can see some of the old bonding place that was left behind. But yeah, the new thing we're going to build is going to be freaking awesome. Add it and then we get it cut and uh, we'll fit them in. These are the sheaves that were inside there, pretty, pretty good. But one of them is so busted that the inner core that's there is completely gone and they were being squashed. This one hasn't got any marks, but I'll show you one of the ones that got some marks. So that's a good example. You see there how it's being squashed? So that couldn't turn at all. That is being pinched inside the carbon setup. This is real carbon fiber, but it's, it's a piece of crap. So we're gonna build a real good one. Stick it in there with the sheaves. These are good sheaves, so we'll might use them, might get new ones, see what the what the owner says, and then we take it from there. That one's actually missing a ball. So what the heck is happening? Where is our engine? The question everyone's been asking is where is the engine? And we've been holding back to kind of release information towards it. And the big reason is Okay. So Vetus has approached and said what else do we need for the boat and um, as you guys know from the beginning one of my biggest dreams for this boat was to have two engines it's a cat they just sail better maneuver better everything if you've got a leeward dock wind you better. can run your engine they dock better they're just such a pleasure to have with two engines and so that's the thing I asked Vetus for if we ever had anything so they said okay that's big but let's talk about it they came back to us and they said they are willing to help us out with engines obviously not give them it for free but they gave us a really good deal now we can't disclose figures but what I can tell you is it's a really good deal it's a deal that we would never but never be able to get from any other manufacturer and we'd never be able to get these engines again. Now obviously you guys know our financial situation, we're not in the position to get two engines unless we finance engines. Um, which wouldn't be a good thing because then we kind of leaving with debt in South Africa which we don't want to do. On the other hand, I've been working and there's a lot of work, I've pretty much got work for two months with this new project that I've been on and the guy pretty much likes what I'm doing. Uh, we just finished the first uh, main pin, main damage that the boat had, or incorrect build that they had. It's super solid, he's happy. Um, he wants me to iron out a few of the other problems that he has on the boat. So that will give us a good amount of money to pay towards the engines. On top of that, they've said they will sponsor, outright sponsor, everything around the engine. So that's exhaust systems, controls, um, insulation, engine beds, everything given for free by Vitus Netherlands and Vitus South Africa. So we need to sell the existing engine that we spent so many hours yep. on, which is a sad thing at the same time, but yeah. a good thing because we finally got the two engines that we wanted. I mean, that's the biggest dream. Seal this deal off is put two engines in. That's our deposit towards Vitus and um, then we just gotta get a bit more money in and just continue paying everything off. Um, obviously we're still a big chunk of cash short to be able to make the the Vitus deal happen but um, we'll get back to you guys on that one. So yeah good news so far so good I mean it's not definite but it's like we just gotta pull the trigger pretty much on the sense of putting all the cash down and say cool it's paid we're getting two engines and I know it's been a very long wait about this engine and we like 
We didn't want to say anything yet because we didn't know what was going to happen. No, we didn't have a definite. Yeah, like, we didn't have a definite. It was a lot of liaisoning with people. For two and months, stuff. pretty much, with up and down, back and forth. That's proposal. why the engine Ursa hasn't gone in because of that. Yeah. You don't want to put all that money and effort into putting the engine in and then we're going to take it out. And the engine wasn't finished, guys. Even though we saw the engine, she was pretty close, but the leg needed major repairs on it. Once we started pulling her apart. Not repairs. Well, not repairs, but, but she needed parts. We needed parts, parts from Switzerland. So. Is it from Switzerland? Sweden. Sweden. South Africa didn't have, so there was work still to be spent on the engine and with the uncertainty with what's happening with Vitas, we were like, we don't want to throw good money at something that might not materialize. So it was a gamble from our side, but it's on paper, Vitas sent us the documentation and we signed it and we say, yes, we do want to take the thing, so we just got to get cash together and make the deal happen. That's the plan. It's put a, a big delay on us leaving, the waiting for the engine situation and whatnot. So, but at the end of the day, it's safety factor wise maneuvering. Like we said, oh, yeah. everything is just, it's stupid to say no. Yeah. So, I mean, everyone that sailed cats will know how good cats with two engines are. They maneuverability, they give you flexibility to move around. It just, can it be done with one engine? Sure. Cats can sail even without an engine. How much PT do you want to give yourself? And I'm talking about like serious PT and put yourself in times where you really don't want to be in difficult situations. But um, I think it's the best news that could have happened to us. So if you're excited that we're getting two new engines, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave an awesome comment down below. We appreciate comments all the time. If you'd like to support our production, there are links in the description below and have an awesome week ahead guys lots of love